What's going on guys? Welcome back, Max here. Hope you're all having a great day. It's time for our weekly dose of Hajime no Ippo, normally on a Monday, but this time on a Tuesday because I had to debut this totally sweet Kamagawa shirt, which just arrived this morning. Uh, but today we're going to be checking out the Ippo Makanuchi versus Ryo Mashiba fight from the Japan Rookie King tournament. Obviously, Ippo Makanuchi based on Mike Tyson. And for those of you guys that don't know, Ryo Mashiba is based on one of the four kings of boxing, Thomas the Hitman Hearns. Of course, the other three being Marvelous Marvin Hagler, Roberto Duran, and Sugar Ray Leonard. Anyway, guys. As always, I'm super excited to get into the action of this one. Hope that you are too. Let's go. Alright, right into it. Ippo charging out of the gate. So Mashiba, uh, Thomas Hitman Hearns, known for his Hitman style. Uh, like a low guard with that flicker jab and also the pouring jab which he uses to control the distance. And he uses that to set people up for the big right hand. Uh, also to set up like body shots and hooks off the left as well when people start getting scared of his jab. See there, that hand down like a scythe kind of a swinging motion. That's the Hitman style right there. And those jabs just flick up, flick up, flick up, flick up and it keeps people away from him. Keeps them at uh, the range that he needs, that's his, where he's more advantageous and can land that big right hand. So right away, it's going to be hard for Ippo to get in and start unloading like he wants to. He's going to have to find a way past that jab. Oh! Damn, didn't even look like they were in range. That's the thing with that flicker jab. Comes here, the shoulder rolls out, and you get so much range from it. I like that, like, some of the boxes in this are just a little bit crazy, a little psycho. You kind of have to be to get into professional boxing. You got to be a little bit unhinged to want to get punched in the face professionally like this. And because that jab comes from low too, it's often quite, quite hard to see too, because it comes from below your vision. And there's no load up, just bomb, bomb, bomb. It's a beautiful jab. If you've never seen uh, Thomas Hearns fight, do yourself a favor and check him out. I'll leave a link up in the cards there. And that jab's gonna get there before Ippo can even get close. Even if he comes out of nowhere, the time it takes him to charge in versus the time it takes for that jab to flick out. The feint! Pause for a sec to make him think it was coming, and then boom! See, there it is, it kind of rolls a little bit, the elbow comes up, and it almost comes up almost with like a backhanded motion, almost. And the way that Thomas Hearns throws this, he'll throw like three of them. Like that, like so fast. <laughs> it's almost like a snake just flying out. Oh, yes, so. So when he throws the jab for that, most people start to focus up in the middle, right? Defend the middle. Fake and then come around with that left hand. And there's that big right, almost like an overhand, just the way that, same way that uh, Thomas Hearns himself throws it. It's a huge right hand, but it kind of comes like an overhand. And he'll throw it on the half beat, so his punches will be like one, one, one. And instead of going one, 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 two, he'll go one, 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 two. Throw that right hand on the half beat to, to throw off the rhythm. Someone with a good jab is so hard to fight. You just can't get anything going. It's hard to get in on them. Smart. Keep him awake. Let, let the power start to drain out of those arms. <laughs> 
I love that Kamagawa understands that just blocking punches doesn't mean they don't hurt. I love how faithful they are to Thomas Hearns. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the little roll. Oh, that's the slow. There you go. Finds the rhythm of the jab a little bit. Like, even if you don't expect the punches coming, just always moving makes it so hard for your partner to hit you. It's like space invaders, right? You gotta aim where they're going to be, not where they are. And if they're always moving, it's tough. I guess we'll have to watch Mashiba versus Miata. Now, what hit what uh, Hearns would do if he would try and close him, he'd use, he'd switch from using the flick jab to a pouring jab. So he'd come out, put his hand on their head to keep them at a distance and like post on them so they couldn't counter, they couldn't get any, uh, they couldn't get in close enough to hit him because his hand was on their face and he'd use that to control the distance. Oh, <laughs> saved by the bell. That's got to mess with Mashiba's head a little bit coming into the second round. I'm looking forward to seeing how Ippo uh, overcomes this. I'm just assuming that he wins. Yeah, the reach is insane. He's got to watch out, though. It's gonna, if he's going to come inside like that, he's got to look out for that right hand coming. It's always a danger whenever you go to the inside of the punch is the other hand coming right at you. Especially if it comes on that half beat, too, right? You're going to throw the jab, they come inside. Bang! That right hand is going to land clean. <laughs> I love that Ippo has this like legendary power that everybody is just terrified of. So <laughs> Not quite the full Dempsey roll yet, but good head movement. There you go, he was close in the distance. <laughs> Just chasing him around the ring, keeping Mishiba on the back foot. So this is when he'd frame, right? This is when he'd switch that hand, put the hand on the head to keep his distance here. Right underneath it, here comes the body shot. And when they punch like that too and extend all their ribs, getting hit right at that moment is so much worse because everything's extended, everything's opened up. Oh, tuck the elbow in. Damn, he set him up. He knew he was going to do it. Ah! <laughs> That was brutal. <laughs> Smart, though.
He knew that if he closed the distance through the jab, Ippo was going to try and duck low and look for that body again. So he flowed the jab and then flicked the elbow down, caught the punch on the elbow. Probably a broken hand. <laughs> gonna try it again nope ah ah <laughs> already a broken hand yeah that left elbow sticking out like that hey man if it works it works if you get someone to break their own hand on your elbow you have a way better time because they're less likely to throw that hand. You see it in Muay Thai, guys will aim to kick the arms just to take away a lot of the punching power. Or they'll even elbow the shoulders sometimes. Comes again. Oh, left hand this time. Good, he's smarting up a little bit, but he's just getting dominated by that jab. I haven't even seen Mashiba throw a right yet. Now, yeah, Hearns would use that long jab to keep people at that distance to push them up against the ropes, put them in the corner. Amazing, amazing control of the fight just off that left hand. Damn, the range to Ippo can't get near him. Ippo can't hit him. Yeah, see, there it is. Get the jabs up high, make him focus high, make him focus down the middle, and then boom, come with the body. Whew. If you defend the body like that, the right hand is right there to throw. My favorites is if they go for the body here, take it on the elbow, then throw the uppercut because their chin's going to be a little bit open. Then he's going to lose. Yeah, you learn another trick. <laughs> you can't come into it with just one thing, right? But this is still rookie days. Ah, what's that, four now? Ah, I don't know how he's still throwing those things. He's gonna break him, not just hurt him. やっぱりやりやがった。あいつの頭の中に足引きずって戦った宮田の姿がこびりついてんだ。今のあいつは誰が止めても闇やしねえ。たとえてめえの拳が潰れようともだ。<笑> Oh, there's the right hand. Ippo just tanks it. Oh, again on the elbow, again on the elbow. No, Mashiba wants him to hit him so he can keep catching that right hand. There, yeah, back at distance again. This is Mashiba's distance, is what he wants. Oh. No, faint. There's that big right hand I was talking about. A big chopping overhand right. Made Ippo so afraid of the jab that all he had to do was faint it and he just right away had to defend. Take the right, plant. Ah! Oh, back on the elbow, and there's that uppercut to the chin. Off the body shot. Oh, 
Yeah, he's rocked. His legs are like jelly. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if he's not jabbing as much now because his arm's busted up from Ippo's power. Like, even that, it's still gonna suck. Like, it might be the elbow, but it still sucks, man. Do a lot of damage to your arm and make it hard to pick up. <laughs> I mean, Ippo's hand is still pretty busted up, let's be fair. It's the thing, hit the arms, hope, preferably not the elbow, but hit up here. You take away a lot of the punching power. If someone has a tight guard, it's great to start hitting the arms and the guard will get lower and lower and start opening up. Big chopping right, left hand down, duck under, uppercut. No, body shot. Whew. I love the way they animate that too. Hip, leg drive, hip drive, shoulder, everything rotating through. That's the power body shot, not just swinging with the arm. Those body shots are awful. They just suck the life right out of you. <laughs> yeah, you can't let them know you're hurt. No matter how much it sucks, you can't let them know you're hurt. Ippo's definitely got the advantage now. Mashiba's down to one arm. Oh, he hit. Still through the left. Yeah. I don't know. He hit the liver hard enough and most people will go down. <laughs> Imagine calling Epo's body shots wimpy. Oh. Big rights right to the center. Nice where it's nice and soft, right? Around here you're hitting the ribs. Here it's soft. That's what you want. Tied up. Smart. Very smart option against someone who's a, a bit of an infighter like that. Tie him up. <laughs> Mashiba saved by the bell. Round two went a little bit differently than round one. That's what he's known for, right? Is that destructive power. So the scores, are, even after that beating, the scores are even now. Like, for sure, his hand has to be broken, right? It has to be broken. Oh shit, it's bleeding! Holy hell! I want to see what his hand looks like underneath that thing to be bleeding that bad. Yeah, the bones would almost have to be sticking out for it to bleed like that. That is, that is a risk, right? You break that hand like that, it's it never gonna fully recover. It's probably gonna break easier and easier next time. Oh, 
けて戦うやつがどこにいるかと聞いとるんじゃそんなやつ見たことカマガオズスマートマンたまにそうにないのかかいちゃん<laughs> Even smarter to know when he can't stop him. Look for the left hook to the body. Right. Nice and light, nice and light, nice and light, nice and light. And out of, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, huge, powerful right hand. Yeah, keep that power away. I wonder if Mashiba is going to be able to use his left arm again. <laughs> no, Mashiba still just got the right hand, still no lefts. Damn, he's going to break his left hand on that. <laughs> yeah, he's got to put, try and put some pressure on him with that right hand. You're in a ring, you can't just run away for the whole round. I bet Mishiba's got some other trick up his sleeve. Onye-chan? Is that his sister? Is that Mashiba's sister? Yeah, a lot of tall guys like that will have a really hard time fighting on the inside because their arms are longer. It needs more distance to generate power. You can't punch here. Hey, hey, brother, called it. <laughs> My Japanese is a little rusty. <laughs> the sound. Oh. So Mashiba clinched. I love that the commentator, you can, you can like see the fight. Even just through the commentator. Come on, he needs you there, Kumi-chan. No! Damn, I wanted to see that exchange. All those body shots have just sucked it out of his legs. He can't move anymore. <laughs> it's a tough bastard, though. <laughs> and that's where the right hand's gonna come in. Oh, there it is. There's the big left hand. Elbow block. No, lands the liver shot clean. Off the ropes. Chin down. Here it comes. No, it can't be yet. No, it's too easy. He's going to pull that left hand out of nowhere. Just on sheer willpower. That's what's going to happen. 
兄ちゃんお疲れ様でしたなんだまだ起きてたのかよお兄ちゃんこそこんなに遅くまでお仕事大変ね<笑>またクビだったよねえ気を落とさないでまた頑張ろうよ私だってバイトしてるし生活の方は大丈夫 Oh, now I want Mashiba to win I want him to get the payday Ipo should just throw in the test, should just throw the fight. Let Mashiba win. Ganbare. <laughs> Let's go, Mashiba. Yes. Oh, there we go. There's that left hand. What an animal. Back to that hitman stance. You're gonna eat it if you don't think you have to worry about it. Yes! Clean underneath the chin. Oh, here's that right hand on the half beat, too. No, it's gonna be a hook. No, right hand straight through the guard. I thought for sure with Ipo covering up like this, it was gonna be a hook to the body or a hook to the head. Throws all his body weight into it. Somehow manages to stay standing. One. Woo! Let's go, Mashiba! That's how he made it to the finals of the Rookie King tournament. You don't get there and not be a tenacious prick. Plus, he's fighting for his sister. Where's the count? He's been down for a while. Oh, come on, Ipo. Dig deep, buddy. Dig deep. You're not done yet. I don't know who to cheer for. <laughs> I like seeing Ipo win, but I want Mashiba to win, too. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you sure? Are you sure it's Mashiba's legs? Oh, it is. This is what Ipo, th there's the count, okay. <laughs> so what Ipo does best, digging deep with the last minute when he needs it. Come on. <laughs> it's been like a three minute eight count. All Mashiba's corner are going to be calling a long count after this. <laughs> he knows he's in trouble now. Leg shaking. He had that one shot. That was going to be it. <laughs> I say it a lot in these ones, but fighting against someone who's at the same level as you really does just 
excel like accelerate both your games and makes both of you so much better and you find energy and depth to you that you didn't know you had because they bring it out of you they force you to find it Alright, he pulls up from the world's longest six count. Surprised Mashibu can come forwards with his legs like that. Let's see if that left hand... No, he's using the right hand now instead. Oh, I was wondering if he's going to bring the elbow in the last second, but... Yeah, you're not going to finish him with the body shots. Oh, there it is, doubling up. <laughs> I feel Kamagawa's pain. You tell, him, tell your fighter not to do something, they do it anyway. But... Here the moment, sometimes they know better. Oh, throws the right, steps forward. Is he gonna step into southpaw and throw the big left hand now? Steps back. Oh, come on, Ipo, that was your chance. Through that big right hand, step through, go to the body with the left off the rear hand now. Jab. Yes! Clever. Although, if a break, no. Oof. I mean, those little they're not as much power as you get as you can possibly get, but I mean, they still add up, especially to that soft spot right there. Whew. Mashiba's only standing because he's leaning on Ippo. Oh. We're gonna get a bell to end this? What are we gonna get? Yeah, the hands are starting to open up. Lifting him off the ground with those punches. Damn! <laughs> Duck underneath the right hand. Uppercut. There it is! Even there, like the hip drive on the uppercut, like it's beautifully animated. It's great technique. Instead of just coming here, like swinging low and just swinging the arm, it's driving off the foot. Damn. And that's a beautiful combination too. Hitting the right uppercut, reloading, and then coming with either the hook if they're close or that chopping right hand. Pop the chin up, take the head off. There's no way Mashiba gets up from that. No way. But damn, what a good fight. What a good show. A tough son of a bitch. Oh yeah, quick count this time, hey ref? Seems rigged to me.
<laughs> no way. <laughs> fast account, ref. Come on, fast account. <laughs> He can't stand up, but he's still not out of the fight. That's terrifying. I mean, if they had social media here though, he just won a ton of fans and can probably make a uh, living off of Instagram sponsors now, let's be fair. Ipo wins! A victorious debut for the Kamagawa Boxing Gym t-shirt. Yes! Ah, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yatta! Uh, that was a great fight. Uh, fighting through that shattered hand. Yeah, right? I want to see what his hand looks like. I don't think I've ever seen anyone bleed through the bandages before. Uh, oh man, poor Mash, poor Mashiba. I get that he's he's supposed to be the bit of the villain here, but I feel I feel bad for him. Thank you. Dome, domo arigato. Arigato gozaimashita. Just now realizing that he did shatter his fist and he still managed to fight through. Yeah, Mashiba, you had a good fight, buddy. <laughs> See, even in defeat, man, even in defeat, you still win a lot of fans and still put on a good fight even if you lose. Losing is, is not the end. Everyone, everybody has losses at some point. You can't win them all. Oh yeah, speaking of countdowns that took forever, Ipo. <laughs> Ipo has a habit of being afraid of his opponents and managing to overcome it. They managed to tell such a good like hero's journey with every single fight. <laughs> oh man there you go guys Ipo Makanuchi versus Ryo Mashiba the Japan Rookie King Tournament they don't get much better than these fights do they come on man I'm always excited to check these ones out I hope that you guys are enjoying the series and I know that there are a lot more fights in it, which makes me really, really excited. If you're loving the Hajime no Ipo stuff, guys, make sure to let me know and I will continue to do more of it. If you did like the video, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what other fights we need to watch and then subscribe. So when we get around to doing the scenes that you want to see, you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.